Welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today we're going to be making strawberry scones. And with scones, you just need, you can basically take out the strawberries from this recipe and add your favorite uh, dry fruit or fresh fruit in here and make it strawberry, instead of strawberry scones, make it peach scones, blueberry scones, mixed berry scones, raisin scones, raisin walnut scones. Catch my drift? It's really, really simple. So let me take you over the ingredients because scones are, all you need to know are just a few things and you really can't mess these up. And I know that lots of people have messed these up and instead of making scones, have made little hockey pucks that were harder than <laughs> some stones in my backyard. But if you watch this video, you will become a master scone baker and you can give these as gifts, like for baby showers or bridal showers. Um, you can make them for tea parties or um, just any time for breakfast. They're just so delicious and they're made in just a little bit of time. So all you need is some all-purpose flour, a little bit of sea salt and baking powder, two cold eggs, uh, heavy cream. I have about a half a cup here and you want the cream and the eggs to be cold. Unlike when you're making other recipes, you want, when you're making scones and biscuits and pie crust, you want everything to be nice and cold. So we said the cream, we need some sugar, we need some cold uh, diced butter. Of course, the strawberries that I've chopped up. This is about a half pound and it's a heaping cup full of chopped up strawberries. And I've just cut them just about this size. These are strawberry scones afterwards, so I, you need a lot of strawberries in them. And then you need, of course, some vanilla extract and that's it. Very, very simple. You throw these into your food processor now, of course, you can do this in a stand mixer as well if you have one. I don't have one at home. I, anytime I need to make a recipe for over here, I bring them from the bakery and I just didn't feel like going and getting it. So you can definitely use a food processor. You can just do this with your hands as well. It just takes a little more time. So I am putting the dry ingredients in first. The sugar, the flour, the salt, and the baking powder. And I'm just going to pulse it until everything comes together which happens really quick with a food processor. Next, I'm going to combine my eggs with my heavy cream and vanilla extract. The recipe calls for about a teaspoon, but I never measure. I love vanilla extract in my desserts, so I always put extra. If it says one teaspoon, I end up putting two teaspoons. So as long as you're using pure vanilla extract, it's gonna taste really good. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. And again, you want your butter, your cream, and your milk to be really, really cold. Otherwise, your um, uh, scones won't be flaky, okay? So I'm gonna put my butter in here now that I've already diced up so I can help out the food processor a little bit. And I'm just gonna pulse it until I get like pea-sized uh, balls of flour-coated butter on here, and I'll show you what I mean. It just takes a few times. few more. And that's it. This is what it should look like. You don't want the butter to be completely dissolved or melted in here. You want there to be like pea-sized pieces, just like this. And it's going to pulse a little bit more when I put the cream in. So the butter will get a little bit more chopped. All right, so while I'm pulsing, I'm going to pour my wet ingredients in here which we've combined, and pulse it until it just all comes together and forms a dough ball. And that's it. This is ready. When it looks like this, and it's all come together, and it's one big clumpy ball of dough, it is good to go. Let me clean this area up and then we'll form our scones. All right, so now I'm just gonna dust a little bit of flour onto my bench right here. Scrape all the dough out here. Now keep in mind, the less you work this dough, the flakier your scones will be and the lighter they'll be. So we need to get 
these strawberries in here. So I'm just going <laughs> to, lost a few, but that's okay. I had put a lot in here. I'm just going to press them onto my dough right here. And then I'm just going to knead it just a few times, maybe two or three times. Pressing whichever strawberries get away back in here. Okay, I'm going to form it into my circle and I'm going to grab my rolling pin, put some flour on it and just roll it a few times until it's about an inch in thickness. Now you can roll this out into a square if you want, if you're making square scones, but I'm going to make triangle ones because that's my favorite shape when it comes to scones. That's how I like to eat them. But if you like squares, go ahead, my friends, and make a square shape. As long as it's one inch, one, one inch thick, you'll be good to go. There you go. That's about an inch, and it's rolled out. It's that simple. Now we're just going to cut these. I'm going to dip my knife into the flour, and I'm going to cut it like I would a, a pizza into eight pieces. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and you want to make sure your oven is nice and hot before you even do this. I think you can preheat your oven while you're making this. It's that easy. And I'm going to take each one of my triangles. Now, here they are. They already are looking so pretty. Who wouldn't want to eat one of these, right? Now sprinkle some sugar on top of them. So they can have like a little more of a shimmering touch. Now if you wanted to, you could have put some sliced almonds in here, some chocolate chips, whatever your favorite combination is, go ahead and do it. You have the basic recipe. And now, here are a few tips. At this point, you can straight away go ahead and bake them in the oven. My oven takes about, actually my oven takes exactly 18 minutes. Each time I make this size scones, in, in 18 minutes at 400 degrees, they're ready. The only thing I do is about halfway through, I flip the tray around so that way they can bake evenly on all sides because I don't have a convection oven and uh, sometimes it gets a little hotter on one side and browner on one side and a little more cooked on one side and less on the other. So I just flip the tray over halfway through. So you can bake them straight away in the oven like this. What will happen is if you bake them like this, they'll kind of spread out a little bit. And I like them like that. They're kind of rustic looking. They're not perfect. You know, they don't look like they just came out of a factory. But if you want them to be really, really perfect, uh, triangle shaped, just the way they look like right now, pop them in your freezer for like 15, 20 minutes so they could set a little bit and harden and kind of shape them more into uh, more of a triangle shape if you want so they could have like crisper edges and then bake them. And again, keep an eye on them. It'll take about 18 to 20 minutes for them to be ready. You can also store these. If you're not going to eat all of these, you can make, or if you want to make more, if you want to make them for like a later date for a party and you know you're going to be busy and don't have time, freeze these just like they are. Put this in your freezer and once they freeze hard for like about one or two hours, put them in Ziploc bags and store them in there for a couple of months and take them out. If you want to bake one at a time or all at a time, all at the same time for a party, they freeze beautifully. So you can just do all this work one day and then if you have a party next week, you just take them out of your freezer and you bake them fresh and they're going to be completely to die for. I'm going to bake mine just like this, just as they are. I'm just going to hand, I'm going to eat some with a cup of tea later on and then I'm going to give the rest to my neighbors and I think that they're going to love them. My oven is preheated at 400 degrees. I'm going to bake these for about 18 minutes. It takes between 18 to 22 minutes depending on your oven, so keep an eye on them. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. I'll also clean up a bit over here and get ready to make the glaze that's going to go on top of these and the clotted cream that I'm going to serve these with. All right, so now while the scones are baking, I'm going to make my version of a clotted cream. And all you need is some mascarpone cheese. And clotted cream is very commonly served with scones. It's not that easy to make at home, but this comes pretty close and is a delicious substitute. <laughs> it's going to be buttery and creamy and nice. And this with some jam on the side with scones, scones is just exactly the right thing. So I'm going to put, put some powdered sugar in this for some sweetness and a little bit of vanilla extract. 
Now, this cream mixture that we're making to serve with our scones, you want to make it, you know, the same day that you're serving it because it begins to separate a little bit and release water from the heavy cream, which is the last ingredient that we need. The heavy cream is going to lighten up the mascarpone cheese and incorporate some air in it. Let me mix this up with my spatula before I go in with my whisk over here with my handheld mixer because this mixer for some strange reason goes on really high speed. Even the low speed is too high. But that's okay, we'll make it work. So I'm just going to whisk this up until it all comes together and it's light and fluffy. Now this clot of cream, this cream that we made right here is good on any scones. Just the way it is. And it literally comes together in just a few seconds. So you can definitely make this right before you serve those scones or the morning of. I'm going to put this on the side and I'm going to start making right now. I'm going to get my bowl to make the glaze that's going to go on top of the strawberry scones once they come out. Okay, so my scones just came out of the oven and they took exactly 18 minutes as usual. Um, they're nice and golden brown on top and just beautiful. They've, they've puffed up and become really, really nice. Let me show you what they look like up close. They are gorgeous. Now, if I, if I didn't know better, I would bite into them right now, but then I'd burn my tongue. So I'm going to set them on the side on the cooling rack. So that way they can cool for at least 10, 15 minutes. So that way we can pour that beautiful glaze that we're going to make now on top. So I'm just going to set these on the cooling rack so that way they cool evenly and they don't get soggy on the bottom. And in about 10, 15 minutes, they'll be ready to eat. Now this is a very simple glaze that just is made with powdered sugar and some, a little bit of milk and vanilla extract. Basically that's it. You can drizzle some, my daughter had a really good idea. She said you can heat, melt, not melt, warm up a little bit of Nutella, which Nutella and strawberries go so good together, and drizzle some Nutella over them while they cool down. That's a really nice combination. I'm just going to make this really simple glaze that we're going to put on top. Truthfully, because I just don't have Nutella at home. That's the only reason I'm making this. And for a good reason, whenever it's home, I eat it in no time. I try, I try not to keep it here unless I really need it for a recipe. A little bit of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to get some milk to thin this out a little bit with. Just a little bit of milk. You could always add more, but it's hard to take it out once it's in. And if you thin it out too much, then just add some more powdered sugar to this. I think I'll thin it out a little bit more. Just like literally just a drop of milk. And that's it. I have my glaze ready. I have my cream ready. And we are going to be good to go as soon as these scones cool down. We're going to get them all nice and fancied up. This is what the glaze looks like when it's done. All right, so they're cooled down now. And that's important. You want them to be cool. Otherwise, they'll kind of absorb this uh, glaze instead of the glaze sticking on it. And they'll, it'll just be kind of like a mess. So I'm just going to drizzle it on top like this, lightly. Look how pretty that is. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Let me cut into it. Still warm. Look at the strawberries. Look at that. Now this, with a little bit of this clotted cream right here. And we are in business. So full of strawberries. And that's how you want to make it. It is a strawberry scone after all. I probably have cream all over my face. Go on the website, DemetriusDishes.com. Get the exact measurements for these recipes and more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.